With the recent rise in popularity and growth of TikTok, it's pretty much inevitable that some people will use the platform to learn how to make money. Trust me guys, after doing some research on the different side hustles that TikTok suggests, some of them seem super profitable and I'm excited to try them out, while others make me feel like I'm getting recruited for the newest pyramid scheme. Sounds like a get rich quick scheme. Yes, thank you. You will get rich quick. We all will. Jokes aside, in this video, we are going to be testing out some of the most viral TikTok side hustles to see if they are fact or cap. See what I did there? Let's get into the video. So this first side hustle we have here has recently gone super viral on TikTok with over 4 million views and 1.3 million likes. So I thought of this business idea that's essentially like passive income and it's basically going to test how honest people are. I'm not sure if it's going to work. Let me know what you think. Let me show you. So I have a cooler full of waters, right? And then I ordered this cash box on Amazon, drilled it to this post, and I have a sign that says $1 per water. Please respect the honor code. I also got my Venmo right there if they don't have cash. So yeah, it's like an unmanned water station. So I'm going to put this on a hiking trail near my house and see if people actually buy waters and respect the honor code and pay me a dollar. I'll check back in and let y'all know if it worked tomorrow. Peace. Honestly, a super interesting idea. I'm personally super excited to try this one out and it might make us a good amount of money. Real quick, after this first video he made on the topic, he made quite a few more videos on his TikTok account and in the first day he tried out this business model, he originally put 48 waters in the cooler, 39 were missing, and no one stole a water, meaning he made 39 bucks in passive income in a single day. Luckily enough, I also have a cooler with not just water, but also other drinks like Sprite, Coke, and lemonade, and I have a cash box right here, which I also bought from Amazon. I also live near a popular mountain biking trail in my area, so I'm going to set up this exact same stand that the guy on TikTok had, and hopefully we can get similar results to him. As you guys can see, we've officially pulled up to the mountain biking trail near my house. House. everything is officially set up when it comes to our stand we've got a cooler here with a bunch of drinks and also guys don't worry everything is relatively secure except for the fact that people could obviously steal drinks that's the point but we also have a cash box here it's bolted to the table so no one can just pick it up and steal it we also have a sign for advertising although it feels pretty weird we're gonna go ahead and leave this stand alone for the next 24 hours and then we're gonna come back and see how much money we made go ahead and leave your guesses down below in the comments how much we made I'm gonna guess we're gonna to make 15 bucks. The second side hustle we are going to try in this video has to do with curb painting. This is arguably the most viral side hustle on TikTok with so many videos getting hundreds of thousands or even millions of likes. For those of you who don't know what curb painting is, it's essentially when you get some white spray paint, some black spray paint, and stencils to paint someone's house number on their curb. For this service, you can charge anywhere from $10 on the low end to 20 bucks if you really want to push it. Just to show you guys how lucrative this business can potentially be, this dude on TikTok says you can make up to $1,000 per day painting curbs. This is exactly how to make over $1,000 per day by painting curbs just like this one. First prep the surface with a wire brush and a broom, and then you'll go ahead and make the box. First step is to paint the entire box white and then let it dry. And then you'll put those numbers we taped together on the inside there, line it up, and then paint it black. I charge 30 a house. I average four an hour. That's how I can make so much money doing this. Honestly, seems like a pretty interesting business. $1,000 per day though, seems like a pretty rich estimate. I highly doubt anyone has ever made that much by themselves. Not gonna lie, when I first heard about the curb painting side hustle, I thought it was a complete scam, but upon further research, apparently it helps emergency response vehicles like the police or fire trucks find your house easier in case of an emergency. Also, in my opinion, on certain homes having the house number painted on the curb looks pretty sleek. With that being said, over the next two hours, my filmer Danielle and I are going to go around a random neighborhood, ask people if they want to get their curb painted for 10 bucks, and hopefully with some Wolf of Wall Street level negotiation skills, we can get some sales. Hi, so I've been going around the neighborhood asking if you want your house number painted on the curb. It helps emergency responders find your house in case of an emergency. It's 10 bucks. Would you be interested? Okay, thank you. We'll, we'll get started. It should be done in like 15, 20 minutes. Not gonna lie guys, this first $10 came from my mom, but you know what? You gotta start your business somewhere and I'm happy my mom's willing to support. Nonetheless, I'm gonna have Danielle get started painting the curb now since we figured out she's much better at this than me.
Okay, the grand reveal, baby. Let's see how we did it on our first paint job. Oh, not bad. I like the line. Okay, not bad. After successfully painting my own mother's curb for $10 as a warm-up experiment, I drove the Toyota Corolla over to a nearby neighborhood and we started doing the side hustle for real. We just pulled up to a neighborhood. The reason you guys see me wearing this vest right here along with the notebook is, in my opinion, it makes me look a lot more professional and no one ever questions anybody else if they're wearing an orange vest. So with that being said, I'm gonna go up to houses in this neighborhood and ask people if they want their curb painted. Hello, so I've been going around to some of your neighbors asking if they want their house number repainted on the curb for $10. Would you be interested? Oh, no thanks, I okay. don't rent. Oh, rent you rent. rent. Okay, no worries, have a good day, thanks. bye. We just went up to the first group of houses. Literally no one in this entire little neighborhood answered me. I went up to like six houses. I think me wearing the orange vest gives it away that I'm trying to sell people something. So we're gonna move on. Nonetheless, it's all a numbers game. Hi, I've been going around to some of your neighbors asking if they'd like the house number repainted on the curb. Does that matter to you? Okay, the house number repainted on the curb. Okay, you be interested? Yeah. Okay, we'll do that. Thank you. It should take about like 10, 15 minutes. So it took us a while to get someone to agree, but someone was finally interested. So first I'm gonna prep the surface with this brush and then Danielle's gonna spray paint. Danielle just finished spray painting. Now it's time to see how we did. Go ahead and pull it off. I'm nervous. Oh, oh, this is definitely our best one yet. Not bad at all. Time to see how crisp these lines turned out. Hey. A plus. Nice. Hi, I've been going around the neighborhood asking if you want your house number repainted on the curb for $10. Well, actually we're renting this house. Oh, no worries. Uh, Have a good day. No yeah, thank you, bye. Hi. So I've been going around the neighborhood asking if you'd like your house number painted on the curb for $10. It helps increase visibility. Not sure if you're interested. Okay, well you have a good day. Hey, I was curious, were you interested in having your house number repainted on the curb? All right, have a good day. We just pulled up to a super bougie area with a bunch of mansions on the lake, and we're gonna ask these people if they're willing to have me paint their house number on the curb. We're gonna keep the price the same at $10, even though these people clearly have way more money, and hopefully they're down to have us do this. This is gonna be a mix between do you want your house number painted on your curb and what do you do for a living? Because I kind of want to know what these people do. Oh, hi. I, I've been going around your neighborhood asking if you'd like your house number repainted on the curb for $10. No. Oh, also, you have a really pretty home. What do you do for a living? Airline pilot. Oh, cool. Have a good Take day. Care. Bye. What does he do for a living? Airline pilot. He's a pilot? Hello. Oh, uh, you have some packages out front, but I was curious. Would you be interested in having your house number repainted on the curb? It really helps visibility. Why, what, do you, what does it cost? Just $10. I don't know. I don't think, are you doing all the other ones? Just, just if people are interested. Oh, what color does it go? Uh, it's white and black. I don't think so. Okay. It would look bad on the, going down the street. Because I'm a realtor and I don't think okay. people would like it if you do that. Did you get the I was doing it in like other neighborhoods, yeah. but I just came here. The city lets you do that? Yeah, I believe so. Why uh, are you taking pictures? Oh, I don't know. Who is that? Hey, could you put the camera down, please? Why are you videotaping him? Why are you videotaping and then not telling us who you are? I think it's fine. You want me to call the police on you? No, that's not fine. You can't videotape people like that. Let's go find out who she is. Um, I do this thing called plain air where I take pictures of houses and then I paint them. Oh. oh. Sorry. Yeah, no, we used to know why. We appreciate it. She just likes painting houses. Wow, that literally turned from us almost getting a sale to the owner of the house almost calling the cops. Danielle, I'm super sorry for acting like I didn't know you. We kind of planned that out ahead of time. Anyways, guys, I think that's gonna call it the day for the curb painting side hustle. We made 20 bucks in two hours accounting for the money my mom gave us. Definitely not the best side hustle, especially if you're in a rich area because a lot of those people weren't too happy that I came up to their doorstep. It is officially day two of this video and I'm ready to test out one more side hustle which basically goes over how to make $1 every 20 seconds. This video has 204.5k likes on TikTok and unfortunately I can't play this exact video due to the copyrighted music in the background but luckily there's another video about the exact same topic saying the exact same thing that doesn't have the copyrighted background music since on TikTok everyone copies each other. Did you know Google will pay you a dollar every 20 seconds? Let me show you. Okay, first go to Google Opinion Rewards and install the app. 
Most surveys take less than 20 seconds and pay a dollar for each completed survey. Follow me for more money-making tips. So pretty much all I gotta do is download this app, Google Opinion Rewards, do a bunch of surveys that take 20 seconds each to complete, make a dollar for each one, or make $300 profit if I do it for an hour straight. This will either be the best or worst side hustle that I try out in this video by far. So with that being said, I'm gonna use the Google Opinion Rewards app on my phone to do surveys for the next hour. And based on how much I make, we're gonna decide if it's worth it or not. Also everyone, this morning I went to check on our passive income water stand to see how much money I made. So while I'm doing these surveys, you guys can see the results of that experiment. We just pulled up to the water stand and it's time to see how much money it ended up making. We're gonna go ahead and open the cash box first to see how much money's left in it. And then we're gonna see how much drinks is left in the cooler. Well, uh, apparently I didn't even lock the cash box. So we're gonna go in here and see how much is in it. Wow, so $5, six, seven, eight, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21 dollars. And now it's time to see how many drinks are left in it. I put 24 drinks in here to start. So that means if there's three left, we're completely fine. Wow, there's definitely a lot more than three drinks in here. So people clearly paid a lot more than how much was actually in here. Definitely a success. So it's funny, while we were here, she actually asked me about the stand since honestly guys, we didn't ask for permission. We just kind of plopped it here. So I'm the president of the Mountain Bike Association here. And I had several people say, what's this film that's happening? <laughs> So I said, I don't know, I'll go check it out. I called the number and serendipitously, I pulled here up here. Are. So we're yeah. actually gonna give all the money to the mountain biking area. That's, I added like a little bit of money there. So hopefully it awesome. helps out. Yeah, it will. <laughs> we, um, we're always looking to raise money for our trails. I just messed around with the Google Opinion Rewards app and I gotta say one of the worst survey sites I have tried by far. You get super limited on the amount of surveys you can actually do in a day. So just cause you can make up to a dollar per survey you do, doesn't mean you can sit around all day doing them. You'll get lucky if you get like a survey per day or even a survey every few days. Today was my first day ever downloading the app. I did one survey and as you guys can see, I made a grand total of zero dollars in profit since it gave me a message that not all surveys make money. The only positive thing I can say about this app is that the requirement to withdraw is super low at only two dollars. Most survey sites have way higher withdrawal limits, but with that being said guys, it's not like I can sit around all day and make three hundred dollars per hour on Google Opinion Rewards. The only realistic way to potentially make that much money for almost no work whatsoever is if you guys sign up for Webull using my link down below and get two free stocks worth up to 1,850 bucks. Seriously guys, it'd mean a lot, especially if you enjoyed this video. And with that being said, I will see you in the next one. Peace out.